Mm, yes. Oh, my goodness. Come on. There we go. Oh, Lordy. It's 4.56 p.m., 79 degrees. I'm exhausted. I was here at 8.30. I was, I was here at 8.20. That's how early I was. Could have been worse. It's supposed to be a 7.30 meeting. It was pushed back to an 8.30 meeting. It's supposed to be three hours. Have you ever noticed, though, that when you go in for a three-hour meeting, if an hour and a half of it has to be canceled, it's never the first hour and a half, it's the second hour and a half. So, sitting here thinking, man, it is early. So, of course, I went to McDonald's and had breakfast. Because I rarely am up in time to get McDonald's breakfast. So I treated myself. Have I told you about McDonald's? I don't know if I have or not. I'm a big fan of the steak, egg, and cheese bagel. It's not like anything else on their menu. It's also really kind of expensive, but you can bounce it with the dollar sausage biscuit, which doesn't have egg, because it's just the sausage biscuit. If you get the sausage biscuit with egg, it's two fifty-five instead of a dollar. You just want to spend a dollar. Well, I just wanted to spend a dollar anyway. <coughs> and after you have a giant, enormous, calorie-laden breakfast, you can just be in a coma for the rest of the day. Which have nothing to do with sleep deprivation. Why does this look so weird? I shaved, but I didn't wash my hair. I think I need to wash my hair. Although, look, look at the really nice streaks it makes when I... As promised, with a new football season on the horizon, it's time for me to shave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep whatever I grow now until the Packers lose. Now, if the Packers lose on Sunday, this will be a stupid, awful plan. But I anticipate that they will win many games. Many, many games. Actually, I think one of the big uh, Wisconsin football dudes said it was going to be 10-6 and six and they were going to have a lackluster performance in the playoffs. Which, forget that, man. 16-0, 19-0, Super Bowl. Count on it. Well, we'll see. I, don't, I haven't watched a lot of football. I watched, uh, there was some football on that I watched. What was it? I watched the last Packers game. It was on NFL Network. And one thing I learned is that Wisconsin Menards ads are much different from Minnesota Menards ads. I don't know why that is, but it's now 5 o'clock on the dot. They have... My watch is fast. It's actually not 5 o'clock. It will be 5 o'clock in 6 seconds. Really cool Packers contests that are only eligible for people living in Wisconsin. Like everybody over here is a Vikings fan or something. Nonsense. Pardon me. I need a little more caffeine. I'm a, caf I'm a caffeined. I just came up with that. Mm. At this rate, I'll be able to go to the post office before it closes at 5.30. I need to see if my super deluxe copy of uh, The Orb and Lee Scratch Perry present The, the Orb Observer. It's like Observer, but it's Orb Observer in the Star House. Where Dr. Alex Patterson from The Orb goes fully reggae. Well, they prefer to call it dub. But when you got Lee Scratch Perry talking on top of it, it's a lot less dub than it usually is. Look, I unpacked all my magnets. Now I have a flashing 12 o'clock that doesn't flash. 58 days until opening day at Target Center. I just realized that's pretty close to Election Day, too, isn't it? Election Day is, uh, what is it, 60, 61 days from today? Not as excited about that. Between last week and this week, and from following Twitter and Facebook, it seems like the people who are most interested in these political conventions are the people belonging not to the party of 
the party holding the convention. Last week, it was it was all people who hated the Republicans talking about the Republican convention. This week, it's people who are not fond of the Democrats talking about the Democrat convention. And I'm getting real tired of it. And there's another 60 days of this garbage. Plus which, my man, Governor Gary Johnson, is not going to be in the big debates. So what for another debates? Let's face it. Obama and Romney are the same dude. I know because I saw a Photoshop that matched them up and they were the same dude. So, if you see it on the internet. I do encourage you to go to isidewith.com. I-S-I-D-E-W-I-T-H.com. I'll link to it in Facebook sooner or later. I've already linked to it on the W. And see how you stack up. And go ahead and click for all the little nuanced positions and all the extra questions and get as detailed as you can. And I would be very surprised if you would find that perhaps your first choice is not Romney or Obama. Maybe it's Ms. Stein of the Green Party. Perhaps it's Governor Johnson of the Libertarian Party. Perhaps it's Virgil Good of the Constitution Party. Or perhaps it's someone who I have already forgotten existed. But if everybody did that, here's my pie in the sky idealism. If everybody did that, and if everybody actually voted for the candidate who turned out to be most representative of the views expressed by answering the internet questions, maybe we'd have more than two viable parties in this place. And maybe all points of view could be equally represented. And then we'd really get nothing done. God bless America. I still haven't gotten to your comments. Ugh, seven minutes. How did that happen? I haven't even talked about the state fair. Uh, if you're friends with me on Facebook, and really, why aren't you friends with me on Facebook? Come on. Almost 400 people. Actually, just over 400 people, I believe, are friends with me on Facebook now. Including some very famous celebrities who completely ignore me. I cleared out all my camera. All my camera? I cleared out all the photos I took. By the way, I have a new camera. Did I ever show it to you? I went to Costco and got the latest uh, cheapo Lumix. You can get this camera for 230 bucks right now, and it's awesome. It's got a 20x zoom. It takes super video, which I have not availed myself of, but it's dynamite. But if you want to see some pictures from the State Fair and some pictures from some of the concerts I went to over my vacation, I cleared out the camera last night and semi-organized it. And you can get to my Facebook page, click on the photos, and... Most of them suck. Some of them are really quite good. And some of the good ones are even ones that I'm in. So that's exciting. And there's a couple of pictures of Kim that she let me put up. For those of you who are still stalking my wife, who doesn't actually do any internet stuff anymore. <sighs> I'm going to go home and take a nap. So I'll talk more about the concerts, perhaps. Let's we'll see how the game goes. Tonight, NFL, finger pistol football. As always, I've selected the home team of the first game of the season, and it will either end my survival season in one go, or it will last me out as I always believe that the home team on opening night is the lock of the century. And that's worked for me the past uh, however many years I've done it, I believe. You can go back and check if you're really bored. We have fantasy threads all over the W. Have you been to the W? T-H-E-W.com? I like to spell stuff out in case this is the first time you've ever seen a video. And if this is your first time, I'm Chris Zimmerman. Christopher Robin Zimmerman, but for short, you can call me CRZ. Follow me on Twitter. All right. Everything else is CRZ.net. And my time is up. So, it's going to get even worse tomorrow. My first meeting is at 745. And except for about a half an hour, it's nonstop meetings from 7.45 until, is it 4 or 5? I don't even want to think about it. So there'll be a lot of me sitting here like this. So by the time you see me tomorrow, yeah. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.